Vuforia Studio has many options to track an AR experience, ensuring the spatial elements of the 3D models match those of the environment. A model target uses 3D models to track physical objects in an AR experience. This works best when you have a 1 to 1 CAD model of your object. Vuforia recognizes the physical objects and tracks it with the CAD, allowing you to display 3D augmentation without the need for markers on the object. Here we have already loaded a model of a 3D printer from which we want to create a model target. To create a model target, drag and drop a model target widget onto the specific CAD model you want to track. Click on the Configure Model Target button to open up the Model Target Editor. In Model Units, confirm that the model is correctly scaled to match the real product. The Coloring tab lets you choose whether to use colors and textures from your CAD to help track the object. Since the colors from this 3D printer match the real one, we'll select Realistic Appearance. If not, then you can select Non-Realistic Appearance. The Complexity tab checks if your model's polygon count is too high for an advanced model target. A complex model may also increase rendering time. If the model target editor indicates the model is too complex, as which this 3D printer is, then it is recommended to select Run with Simplification. Optimize tracking allows you to select which kind of optimization works best for your model. Default works well for most objects, but if your product has a lot of smooth surfaces such as a car, then you can select Low Feature Object. For this 3D printer, we'll just select Default. Guide views allow you to set which angle the user can approach the object from. You will need at least one default guide view, whether you use advanced or standard tracking. To learn more about creating an advanced model target, see our related video on the topic. To continue with the standard view, click on Create Guide View. Using the mouse buttons, you can pan with left, rotate with right, and zoom with the scroll wheel. Match the model orientation with how you would approach the product in reality. Since we know this 3D printer will sit on a desk, we will set the model to be slightly angled front on, looking slightly down. To confirm, click on Create Guide View at the bottom. The progress bar shows how confident the model target will be at tracking your object, based on what you've selected already. If your progress bar is showing low, there are links in each tab highlighting best practices to follow to improve the tracking for your object. You should now see a silhouette representing your guide view in the view area. Click on save to confirm your model target. You are now ready to publish your AR experience. When the experience loads, you will see the silhouette of your model. Align the silhouette with the model as best as you can and Vuforia View will automatically lock onto the object and begin tracking. You can move slowly around the object to maintain tracking. In Vuforia Studio, you can lower the transparency of your model to check if the model aligns with the object. If you notice poor tracking or mismatched features, check out some of our other resources for help. Once you have good tracking with your model target, you have a good foundation from which to build your AR experience. After verifying the model target tracking in reality, you can opt to use Preview Mode. With Preview Mode, you can use your 1-to-1 CAD to create your AR experience as if it were around the real product.